I haven't looked at prices in a long time and so in today's video we're gonna be focusing on the market I'm gonna take a look at DOT, at Kusama and also at Remark and finally I'm gonna take a look at the Remark Steam Wallet when it comes to the Skybridge land sales because I did find something interesting there and uh, it is something that uh, we need to keep in the back of our minds because this is gonna come it's not a matter of if it's gonna come it's a matter of when it's gonna come the team didn't say when and so we could expect this to happen at any time I'm not trying to fud but just know that it can happen and it will happen okay so let's kick it off with the dot dot is on a rip as you can see here it's been doing extremely extremely well from this dump here to 664 which is pretty much the support line here we've had support here we've had support here we've had support around this area so as you can see 640 to 650 was a great area of support for dot from back in 2020 i believe we haven't seen this prices since then and uh, yeah, I mean, it's been holding really well, even when we had this nice pop here to almost eight or to actually we touched eight dollars here and uh, we went back down, we went to 665. And so as you can see, this area is holding extremely well, but now we've pushed once again, this time we actually broke the previous resistance areas, which is this one and this one, which we couldn't break by the way on this first attempt, as you can see, we just hit it and then we went down again to support. So now we broke it and what this means is it means we are now at the next area of support, which is, or sorry, of resistance, which is definitely a lot harder to break because we've got areas here, uh, we've got areas here, we've got some here. So this whole area here, which was an accumulation phase, is now gonna act as resistance and we need to push even higher. However, I do think that based on the look of this chart, we're not gonna be pushing much higher. Of course, it is BTC dependent, but it does look, does look likely uh, that we're gonna get a pullback. And uh, when we do get that pullback, I'm expecting that to be around here, like around $8, because this area has now turned into, into support, uh, which was previously resistance okay and in this area too so yeah just definitely around the eight dollar area there uh, when it comes to the pullback i don't expect it to dump way below that unless bitcoin is streaking us and the whole market comes crashing again to below 20k which i just don't think is going to happen anytime soon uh, even if the bottom is not in and so yeah very very nice chart for dot here like me personally like if i was to trade dot not for holding but for trading i wouldn't touch it right now because I'm expecting a pullback anytime. It looks like we're starting to consolidate. We are moving up, uh, but it could be that we're gonna start to consolidate here and we're gonna see a crash. If it is a head and shoulder formation, which is not really looking like, but there is a slight possibility there is. This could have been the left shoulder. This might be the head and now it may be moving back down. There is that possibility. So for me personally, I wouldn't be buying on spot trading at least to run, uh, to, to go with this trade. Uh, but that's just me okay uh, now long term holding that's fine because it is super super cheap and we know dot has a great future ahead let's take a look at kusama here kusama has been doing okay-ish not as well as dot it is 65 dollars at the moment it had a nice pop to like 72 before pulling back to 56 and uh, now it's going to try and push high once again i think it's going to hit this area once again of around 70 we may see higher prices for Kusama, but it is struggling right now because we are at this important area of resistance, which DOT has reached as well. So that's the reason we're seeing this price of 65 and we're not seeing the same kind of rip with Kusama as we've seen with DOT simply because of the chart formation. I mean, we have now reached this previous area of uh, what used to be support has now become resistance and this was the accumulation phase where DOT was at as well at the time. Uh, this was back in May, as you can see here. So this is between the, what is it, 12th of May until the 9th of June. So this is like over a month now, or almost a month of accumulation here. So it's not going to be hard to break this. But once we do, once we do, the next area is not until, let's see if we have more here. We do have some resistance around 100 bucks. I think there's more around 80 as far as I remember, if I remember correctly there's yeah 100 bucks seems to be the last one uh 80 let's see no there's nothing at 80 so yeah it, it looks like a hundred dollars is the uh the next area that we can expect here unless we look at the historical chart and we see anything here let's go further out 200 yeah let's see what we have here Okay, 90 looks like the next next resistance area. 
yeah around 90 dollars because we do have this historical chart here from back in 2021 right at the start of the year when kusama started to get that run up we had a huge accumulation phase here uh, between the 19th of january all the way up to the 7th of february before we started to push up and so this is going to act as resistance for us around 90 dollars and then the next one's 100 dollars and then the next one is around 140 and so 90 dollars is what we can expect if btc continues to push higher which is definitely great but hold your horses because remember on the 8th or 9th of august we can expect something to happen in the market when over half a million ksm are going to get unlocked from the second batch of crowd loans from back in september of last year and so some people are likely going to sell some people are going to hold maybe stake maybe crowd loan but i mean just the general sentiment that i'm getting is quite negative when it comes to the crowd loans and so i'm not expecting too many people to hold on to their ksm and contribute to crowd loans um some may be staking uh, but there may be people that are just pissed off and they just might end up selling okay so there's also that risk as well so you got to keep that in mind uh, that i am expecting some move to put pressure on the selling uh, when it comes to that unlock uh, depending on the price of kusama if kusama reaches 90 bucks and hits that next resistance area by then there's a higher probability that people are going to be selling on the 8th of august okay that's just my opinion because the price is good enough for people to take that profit out uh, next let's take a look at remark the remark is doing okay ish okay 359 i did expect it to do better i did expect it to be around the 370 area but as you can see we are getting some selling pressure at first i was worried that this is the team selling the sky bridge land sale remark but it's not the case okay i'll talk about that in the end uh, but um, it's just people selling and trading basically so as you can see we had this nice swing upwards here uh, back in june and uh, we didn't manage to get back to that because there just wasn't enough bullish momentum we had these nice peaks here uh, to 390 because we do have resistance around four dollars which is really hard to break i mean we tried it two times and uh, if we don't break that again on this next attempt if we are going to get a next attempt it's just not looking very strong here so i'm not too convinced but uh, yeah four dollars is the next resistance line as you know and then once that's broken there's a lot more resistance around 430 i believe this one here this line here around 4 420 it looks like let's see 420 yeah around 420 uh so it's not looking pretty then we've got more resistance around 435 but it's not too big and so then then there's nothing until eight dollars although i do think we have some resistance around five which is not so big as the eight dollar one so for me i mean if we break this four dollar resistance if we push past five yeah there is definitely some resistance around five because we've touched this before and we bounced down okay and i mean it was a nice run up here so it was we, we, we did expect a sell-off there's just no way that this was going to continue parabolic like this in a bear market uh, but um yeah there's just not enough buying pressure however if we look at the buys and sells here i mean let's look at the one decimal it looks like most of the support here is around 340 i mean look at this order here 23,000 remark it is fluctuating between 13k and 23k because they're likely bots as well 13k looks like a solid wall there and then there's also this 7k wall which is now moving 7.7k almost 8k so more or less around 20 21k as you can see here again fluctuating with 30k because of the bots those are likely going to cancel their sell orders as soon as dumping occurs and so if there will be some dumping from somewhere else if they haven't finished uh, then we could expect 340 to hold okay again depending on the amount of selling that's going to take place uh, but uh, we should be fine i mean we don't have uh, too much support further down it's mostly smaller orders uh, but these two i'm hoping that are going to hold us and then there's quite a lot of pressure like i said around four dollars here as you can see 25.8k almost uh, to go through before we can break that and then at uh, 50 at five dollars sorry we've got up to 56k to get to that level and so that's not going to be easy there uh, but then once we do that eight dollars is the next area which is going to be very hard to break but i'm definitely going to feel more bullish once we get to that area and i'm sure you will too because eight dollars is definitely a much better position to be in than where we are right now and finally let's talk about uh, the uh, sky breach team waller for the land sales Nine hundred eighty-eight thousand remark has accumulated in this wallet now this is a bit of a concern because the team are free to sell and they can sell okay to get more funding if they want to but they didn't sell anything yet and so how can we see that well you simply go to view all because we've got all the transactions here in the transfer section 
but because there are so many here you can't really see uh, what's coming in and what's coming out you can only see what's coming in but you can't see what's coming out unless you filter so thankfully subscan does give us that filter option so in order to filter you need to scroll down to the transfers area you hit on view all here and now you get a filter and so you can choose the, the dates if you want but if you just want to choose everything uh, you could go to the sent one and this will just show you what has been sent of course you need to hit the filter button and as you can see only two transfers were sent out one eight days ago one 14 days ago of small amounts these did not go to an exchange to be sold anyway there are small amounts compared to uh, how much remark the team actually holds and so these are going to individual wallets uh, which don't actually hold large amounts of remarks so i don't think there's anything to worry about right now but you could keep an eye out on this wallet just to see when things happen when movements when movements happen especially if you plan to trade remark again if you're holding it long term you probably don't care but if you plan to trade remark you could keep an eye out on this remember that the team don't want to be suicidal with their community here so they're not going to be selling everything i don't think they're going to be selling everything at once but you can expect some selling to happen in batches maybe they're also waiting for better days maybe they're seeing the market recover now and so hopefully if the team do decide to sell in batches hopefully they'll be placing walls rather than just dump into the market uh, definitely limit orders because with limit orders people can just buy into those and uh, then that's fine like whenever somebody buys they just buy right end of the story it's not going to affect the price even if the bots do tend to sell a bit when they're detect the wall but again on qcoin you can set hidden orders and so the team could potentially set those hidden orders and then people won't be so afraid i'll just buy into that wall uh, slowly and that way everyone is happy because there's no dumping occurring right if the team decide to dump such a large amount i mean even 20k if you're to dump 20k into the market i can guarantee that the bots would then further sell and dump the price even lower and so yeah uh, definitely a concern there if the team do decide to market sell let's hope they don't let's hope they set those limit orders they set those walls if they want to get access to that funding so yeah i just wanted to cover that in today's video thank you as always for watching don't forget to drop me a comment and hit the like button to help with the algorithm thank you Bye bye